Custom functions are a great way to extend the capabilities of your AI agents. They allow you to execute JavaScript or Python within your workflows. Let me show you quickly how it works. In this basic example, I have a user input, and in the user input, we are going to collect two numbers. And we're gonna use a function in order to add those numbers together. The first thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to click on the plus button and I'm going to click on run function. This is going to give us an interface where we can select from an existing function. In this case, we don't have any, and so we're gonna click on the new button and that is going to create a new function. You can see it here on the left hand side. Now, if I'm in this configuration panel, I can give my function a name. So I'm gonna call this addition and we can give it a description, adds to numbers. Next, we can see that we have our code panel here. Now, one thing I recommend is that you get familiar with some of the most common MindStudio specific methods. Um, to bring in uh, variables into your custom functions. And you can find the information inside of the Quick Help tab here on the right. So if we scroll down, we can see all of the available methods. And in particular, the one that we're gonna be using is ai.fars. Now we have these two variables, num1 and num2. And so to bring in those variables, we can say ai.vars and the name of our variable, in this case num1. And since we're adding the numbers together, we can add our plus button and we can say ai.vars.num2. Now, this is going to do the addition for us, but it's not actually going to save this as a new variable that we can use later. So what we can do is we can create that new variable with that same method. So I'm gonna say ai.vars.sum equals num1 plus num2. So by using this, we're both calling that variable and we're also creating a new variable if the name of that variable does not exist. So if we go back to our main flow here, we can see that we now have our function called addition and we are getting this new variable sum. So we should be able to display all of the contents here. So inside of my display content block, I can say num1, we can say plus num2 equals sum. There we go, let me go ahead and publish this and we can try it out for ourselves. So if we open up the AI agent, we have our inputs, and we can say two, it can enter another number, five, and when we hit the next button, you can see two plus five equals seven. So again, just to quickly reiterate what we learned, when you are creating uh, custom functions, you can easily pull in the variables by using ai.vars and then the variable name. If the variable name does not exist yet, like sum, it will create that new variable and you can use it downstream in your workflows. This simple capability allows you to create powerful JavaScript functions, Python functions that you can execute within your workflows to do all kinds of things. Hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you next time.